Hey guys. Oh, we're live. Yeah, we're oh, live. Oh, jeez. Oh yeah. god. Pay attention. Oh no. Jeez. Come on. You didn't say. <laughs> I did it's say. It's entirely your fault and not mine and all I did yours. Say, and you weren't paying attention. And, and now never everybody mind. on the internet knows because this is recorded. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today it's time for more puzzle games, more more brain hurdy. Although probably not as much with this one. I guess we'll see. One of the lead designers from Portal worked on it. Hey, that's good. But it does it does seem a little bit more, perhaps child friendly, <laughs> compared to Portal. So we shall see. We shall. Right. Oh. I need. Drag feet. No, that's. This running. Not it. Why is that even a thing I can click on? There for now. Performing first time setup. I know the game's 10 years old, but geez. <laughs> Hi, that, yep. Ooh! That's the old Unreal Engine logo. <laughs> and it's loud. Add that to the big card. It's loud? It's not really that loud for Loud for me. <laughs> and that's what really, really matters. Subjectively loud. That's yeah, true. And quantum. There it goes. Those blueprints. Wait, look at I the don't resolution need the of that logo. <laughs> what are you doing? On boy. Did someone be in a scene? Beams are getting crossed. Ugh. Not the beams. That is a very loud advertisement. <laughs> John Delancey pocket. Is it John Delancey like that? Well, like, whether or not the D is uppercase or lowercase. John D. Lancey. John. Damn it, it is John D. Lancey. Eesh. <laughs> oh, you thought it was D. Lancey, all one word. Okay. Ah! Can't stand. Alright, All right, crisis averted. So All these keyboard buttons. Right. Let's see if I'm playing this mouse and keyboard. I guess we'll see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Quantum gun under him. Not happy about borderless gaming. Mm. Oh, yeah, you, gotta, you gotta play alongside. Is this not a co-op game? I checked. Apparently, it's not. I what? Need to I could have. Something. Yeah, I thought. For some reason, I thought it was too. My crazy. Both hallucinating vividly. Okay, I don't care then. <laughs> Back to playing Hades. No, uh, shut up and play Hades. <laughs> <laughs> Professionalism. <laughs> How to play. Quantum Conundrum is a game of interdimensional problem solving. Your uncle, Professor Quadrangle, has gone missing in his mansion. 
Use his newest invention, the Interdimensional Shift Device, IDS, and navigate through his wacky experiments. Save him from his in-dimensional <laughs> doom. X to pick up objects. Single player. Some bitch. Maximal batteries to gain access to new dimensions. Nice batteries and the battery receptacle. You can do it, computer. There you go. We believe in you. Fantastic. Your available dimensions are shown at the bottom of the screen. Press the button next to the dimension icon oh, to shift oh gosh, to that dimension. You return to normal dimension. Press the button corresponding to your current dimension. Or Y. I figured. Each puzzle has a goal time and shift goal. Beat the goal time by completing the level quickly. Beat the shift goal by using fewer dimension shifts. You can easily retry and repeat puzzles to beat the goals and set leaderboard records. Wow! I bet they're bustling ten years down the line. Replay level mode. Eight. If you're stuck, try using all your available dimensions. Don't forget any! Don't forget that normal is a dimension, too. It can be very useful. What it, the it hell does be that useful. mean? It's the one I'm in. Right now. See? Pick up the chapstick and I drop it. And it does normal chapstick drop things. Wow, that's crazy. Normal. Science. <laughs> I'm having trouble grabbing objects out of the air. Just hold down the button. Listen to your uncle. He'll give you important tips as you play. Well, of course I'm going to be listening to him. It's John Delancey. <laughs> Yay, it has subtitles on by default. Woo! Once upon a time, that's how these things usually start, yes? Yes. Oh my took god, I love it! Brilliant, prolific, an incredible <laughs> brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my, uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. Oh. The oh. boy eagerly awaited Age the revealing now. of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. <gasps> oh no. Well, let's see here. If I configure the transdimensional velocity regulator at approximately 0 0.887 microseconds past the... Oh, you're here? Hi. I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit... <laughs> indisposed at the moment. If you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. Okay, we're doing, we're, we're doing mouse and keyboard. I'm not, I'm not doing FPSs on controller. <laughs> it's not happening. You can't make me. How's this mouse sensitivity? Still bonkers high. I assume everyone has tiny little mouse pads because it's 2012. Hi, Java. You want to update now? Okay, that's cool. Hi. Go away. I'm busy. Nope, not me. 
sensitivity all the way down. Like all the way, all the way. Um, did I actually just set my mouse sensitivity to zero? I can't move my mouse. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Nothing's happening. <laughs> okay, let's. One tick up. We'll see what that does for me. All right, okay, we're gaming. We're gaming. You can indeed set it to zero. A little better than that. symbols that Lady Liberty that's like uh, this must be a pagoda or fir tree Eiffel Tower Space Needle I've been some places So, you can drop it on your head. It does not seem to cause any permanent harm. So that's good. You can pick up the vase. I did break the vase. I now have vase pieces. But dang, this this professor's really good. The lamp's still lit even though I shattered it. Okay, if I just um, just put these back. Making Pusketti oh, right now. Oh my god, I love Pusketti. Pusketti. I just if I just put everything back up here and then I just uh that, nope, that's still not the rotate button, that's the throw button. There, anyway, I can rotate this. Right, if I just put this down gently right here, he'll never notice. Why is, why is that the, <laughs> you can't do that sound? Mwah. So familiar. Great exponentiations. Did you ever have to read that in high school? I hated that one. What a coffee table book. <laughs> Oh, you confounded machine! Ugh. What was that? There he is. It's him, the lad. What's this book? The Wizard of Osmium. How far can I throw my luggage? Not very far at all. Disappointing. Oh, good. That should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Now, where on earth did I put that? Wait a minute. 
something isn't quite right here. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> ah! Whoa! Uh. Alright, can you say apple? Apple. Ah, it seems as if I can still tap right, what into you the there was jumping. system. You just jump. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, 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 testing. There. Ha. Huh. Much better. Now, what in the world are you doing here? That Were you supposed shifted. to be here today? No matter. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head night, is Muon. killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural Good hematoma. Good night, Muon. I hate it. Bump on the head. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. I think heavens all of these books are belted together so they're not separate physics objects. Yeet. We gotta get the books off the top shelf. That's where all the good books are. Like, uh, Starshift Troopers. And... Beowat. And... How many did they just ha Did they have to fucking come up with on that? <laughs> Mansfield Pulsar. Am I missing any books? This is very important. They spent a lot of time modeling and texturing and writing these book names. Through the looking spectrometer. Not quite. Oh, the oh these. Sir, did you not- you want to make sure you didn't lose all the books you read, so you, um... Sir, why are you belting your books together? Why is this... Where'd you get a belt that long? Did you make these yourself? Rick and Morty, young boy and older male relative travel to different dimensions. Uh, do not disparage the good name of Dr. Quadrangle in such a way by comparing him to that mystery. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then... I don't know. I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown I want to until see, you like, can restore Q the power. And Son of Q, the sideshow. You know, <laughs> does he have so many suits of armor? This is just—they've never done anything do. with Son of Q. So, if you get a manor, does it like come with the suits of armor, or do you have to get those yourself? Is that just like a part of the mansion deal? Do not know. Maybe they just like sprout out of the ground and. In England. I don't know. Hugh had a son? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Henry to the eighth. Power. And another copy of Mansfield Bull. Sorry. I must have really liked that book. He got two copies. Three copies. The Call of the Wild Binomial. My safety lamp with me. Oh, I took my safety lamp. Oh. I can't 
take the chairs with me either. How am I supposed to protect myself in this? If you head over to my office over place? on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. What is that thing? Um. Is that my he's... neighbor, Totoro? <laughs> <laughs> I believe he is featured prominently in in this game. Can't wait. Am I gonna be turned into that thing? Is that what's gonna happen? I believe I told you to go to the office. Okay, but you have all these paintings, and their paintings are meant to be looked at, so I'm going to look at them. Chill. My name. Really, my name. Ed Edward. Ed Good to know. Ed Edward. Man's got the one pose. Nice conquistador helmet. Could you perhaps, I don't know, go to the office? No. And as a matter of fact, you're actually spouting more dialogue lines since I'm not going to the office, and now I'm going to prolong <laughs> I'm gonna <this> wait. endeavor <laughs> until I've heard all of them. Who's this guy? Can I push that button? I like that button. It's a good looking button. Now, that's a tiger. Papa Quad. Moon Unit Zalpha. And he's got his own little Sputnik. Mustache Collection. Wow. Uh, we got Mario. Anyways. <laughs> and more... Ooh, ooh. Right. I can kick things. Game of the year. <laughs> Punt. Alright, so... This, this guy's the jock. Like, the professor, obviously, the nerd. I've done nothing but lift. Or, like, play soccer or something. Look at this. It's insane. Alright, now I will look at the office. Okay, we got buttons. Capsules for dimensions. Give me your book. Prime and probability. <laughs> sure, that's a real page turner. Throw that switch there. It should be the one. Yeah, well, that be. wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just, uh, take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. You know, I can kind of pick up on that. So I'm just... That, that's cute. What you are holding is an early prototype cute. of the interdimensional ship it's device, not or Professor IDS Quantum. device for short. It's one not piece of my ever. latest invention that, that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> John DeLancey plays a particular character particularly well. Like, he, he voiced Discord in My Little Pony, and it's it's... It's Q again. Is it really? It is. Yeah. Characters don't get voiced by John Delancey. Characters become John Delancey. Yeah. Typecast as John Delancey. Find blueprint tubes. Yet 
uh, navigating through this game, it does feel like it came out in 2012. So far. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. It's a certain je ne sais quoi. If you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. On the rest of the blue wing, I suppose. Thankfully, he color coordinated the wings of his house. There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. I mean, visited. All right. One, this is an excellent set of paintings. <laughs> that is fantastic. Two, the center two are obviously the same. Um, therefore, I, I wish that uh, whoever painted these could do it maybe perhaps two or three more times. So I can just kind of keep, <laughs> going, keep going. <laughs> just, because, uh, you know, there's like some empty wall space here, you know. You really just bend it around. Oh, that fish is wearing a little hat. That's nice. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Thing. This is how it's made music right now. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, there's that beat drop. The golf balls proceed along the conveyor belt. <laughs> they fall through a tumbler with a camera interface that automatically sifts out any imperfections. <laughs> the jelly bean, <laughs> the jelly beans are now sprayed <laughs> with multiple colors. Like I swear and tossed to through God. a roller. <laughs> the jelly beans are now spit shined by miniature elves to give them their <laughs> signature polish. Oh my goodness. Patrick Warburton had a recurring character in Seinfeld. The glove controls Andrew the power Dastic. source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Look. Look. Ho ratio horn blower. Obi dichromate. <gasps> Look at all these books. There's so many unique assets. Jeez, that's not the sound I was expecting from that. <laughs> Time Lord of the Rings. I was expecting a lot of these jokes to be bad at 2012, but these are like some slappers right now. War of the Parallel Worlds. Beyond fluffy and heavy. The man in the <laughs> MP60 mask. Ferris. <laughs> Beowat. Another 
another copy of Beowulf. Yes, it is. And that's another copy of Moby Dichromate. Yeah, that's a that's a good place to leave that book. Actually, I think that's I think that's good and safe. There's a painting of the glove you're wearing on the wall. There, there sure is. It is large and pointing. Very nice of you to have had that commission. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. Hey! Don't tell me shit that I'm eventually gonna know. There's to be some manner of furnace. Captain. This door is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. Marvelous. I love him. Listen to those funky ass noises. You gurgle. Hold on. No, hang on. Alright, so. It's me, the drinking bird. I will repeatedly press this button until the end of time. Yo, a Joseph Ferris button. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. You'll see what I mean, eventually. Kitty. Kitty. So dapper. Decidedly less dapper. Now you're just torturing the poor thing. Can't see straight. Shift in perspective. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is Fluffy Dimension. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is 10 times lighter than normal. Yeah, everything is made of plush. Oh, the paintings do change. What is that in his mouth? There's no sticking out. Hey, he's just got a bird suit. Splendid. Hey, you can start maybe fixing the stairs? Okay, so the fluffy dimension is just, uh. It's, um. Padded room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. Converting mass to electricity? My man. Alright then. Dang. The quark of Monte Cristo. <laughs> Square root seven brides and <laughs> square root negative seven brothers. <laughs> I will shift it again. I am breaking your vases. Oh, lucky dimension. Wait, actually, hang on. In the lucky dimension, this is like stitching. It's soft. And now I can break it. 
And all the pieces are now soft again. Fascinating. Yeah, I get the feeling that maybe there should be some sort of railing here. Like, maybe it's just me. And oh yeah, they're they're going to reference Star Trek eventually. It's inevitable. They better. They don't. They're fools. All these desaturated paintings. So 2012. Why does he have so many copies of Beowat and Great Exponentiations? on this shelf in particular. There's that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. Hi, Desmond. Hello, Desmond. Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. Let me try that again. You remain constant. So no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. Traumatizing anime references? What anime did I reference? <laughs> like Neon Genesis Evangelion one. or something? I saw it in chat, but I didn't answer because I also didn't know it. You. you should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. These things are throwable? They're not going to just shatter into a million billion pieces and ruin uh, everything even more so than it's already been ruined by whatever. I don't whatever. know if I specifically answered the other question. Q had a sound on Voyager. And he just kind of went off and did his own shit. Hitchhiker's Guide to Dimensions. The receptacle is up on the second floor alcove. Thank you, sir. I'm going to look through your books now. David Copper, Field Theory. Right on. Oh, that's what it was. Uh, you <laughs> you said Edward, like there was like a Prince Edward or a Sir Edward on a painting, and I'm just there like Edward. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. We'll go bye now. bye now. Catch bye, you later, box. Thanks for stopping by for the beginning. I better see your ass at the end. That receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. Irritable Dowel Syndrome. Anyways. <laughs> the original sign. <laughs> to kilowatt a mockingbird. I'm pretty sure that would do the same thing as killing a mockingbird. That's the Best Friend Brothers. I hope everyone else loves looking at these books as much as I do because this is not going to stop. 
As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. Boom, hit shot. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Right, so shift does not run. Alt does not run. Control is jump. Ew. Spacebar is jump. Control is also jump. That's gross. Why is, why that? Be some controller shenanigans. Ah, oh, that's Dolly. Dynamic object linear ligation interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Oh, I'll need to tune that later. Glad I was standing in front of this window pane and not the other one. Thank you, ma'am. Does that explain all the uh, copies of the books? They just keep getting cloned. That's nice. Oh no, she's leaking. Ah, she's looking at me. That's strictly Ness's. Oh! Hello to you too! Hi. Oh. Is that what we do? Presumably. Safety safe. Ah, that's my favorite chair. Oh, and that one too. Didn't care about that table though. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. Gives them an extra kick. So it just I, sounds I, like techno babble. If I touch them, then ooh, those are some, those are some raw lasers. You have died. <laughs> Thing number five, you will never experience not peaking at ten. <laughs> oh Jesus! All right, so ah, that's my favorite chair. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. Gives them an extra kick. Yeah, I really wish that these paintings were done like a little differently because the glove ones just look like, I keep seeing them in the corner of my eye and they look like they flip, they're flipping me off and I don't like it. And I wish they <laughs> Oh no. This one laser. Fluffy Dimension does not make the lasers fluffy. Lasers are still lasers. As it turns out. jump. I can make that jump. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. But I want to. Ooh, that is some thick glass, too. Ah, just letting you know that you reset the glass. Thank you. Yeah, it definitely uh, breaks it again, though. Sorry. That's a big break. <laughs> my bad. My B. My bad. My B. Still my B. Continues to be my B. Please break the glass can please. Ooh. Ooh, did you see that? We got these rib out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm sick. Yo, I'm sick. Yo. Listening to glass breaking sounds on my phone. <laughs> As I do. Oh, it's the creature. Hello, creature. It's like they're trying to turn my neighbor Totoro into a Furby. Marvelous. Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or Ike. Hello. Bye. Later, bud. Nice meeting you. tables in the fluffy dimension. Not enough. How about two tables and big old chair. Not enough. It does make some interesting sounds though. It's just the, the glass doors are made out of the rubber or something, actually. Cannot do the sick bounces off the wall. Stop for a minute and take a look at the painting. I am looking. The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. The original quadrangle suit of armor was actually constructed in this very forge. 
Ah, the suits of armor, which have then been cloned, I presume? My great-grandfather modified the old forge so that if it had enough raw resources, it could craft steel objects autonomously. This predecessor to Dolly supplied all the materials needed to build the Underground Railroad. Underground Railroad? Like, Important part of every mansion. The Underground Railroad, like, moving slaves from the south to the north? To free them? <laughs> That underground railroad? <laughs> Alright, we have... Well, high... High blinding... Oh. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I gotta admit, I was kind of hoping that if I put on Fluffy, the amount of force would allow it to shoot at the window and then I just do this and it would break. That would be funny. In case you're wondering, you turned on the fan. Please say that you don't need okay, me to explain that, that to you. Hey buddy! What are you looking at? Yeah! Woo. I love committing property damage. Alright. Special delivery. <laughs> there. Now they're all standing right side up. Ah, that's where that got to. That is a botched experiment of mine called the Awkward Noise Generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. Awkward right. noise generator. Thanks. I'm gonna have to tell Isaac that he had a cameo in this game. Oh, oh my god. Got him. Savage. <laughs> Standard issue conveyor oh. belts. Whoa, okay, there's so laser much down there. Than there's carrying there's... things yourself. so wonderful to listen to, you know? Like, it's just a great addition to the game. Heart of dark matter. That's a portrait of my father, Papa Wilfred Zapp Quadrangle. He was part of a top secret NASA mission to capture Sputnik and replace it with a basketball. The Soviets never noticed, <laughs> yeah. probably because the basketball got better reception. Oh. Oh. Savage. Rush burns against the Russians are more relevant than ever. <laughs> Let's burn some books. Go for a ride. 
So I haven't discussed my location a whole lot, but it seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo. I think I may explore a bit and see what turns up. No, 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 you're, you've got it all wrong. I played inside on stream, not limbo. <laughs> I know they're very similar. It's, you know, same dev. Nothing journey of discovery. Why? You see a door here, sir? Well, at least avoid impaling yourself horribly. It's bad enough the glass needs to be tidied up. Well, we'll invent a glass tidying robot. Jeez. Step off my back. Launched if you jump off that thing. There it goes. Just out of reach for me to take it for the next part of the puzzle. Come here, come here, come here. Hey, come here, come here. Thank you. I mean, it's good for sticking a table or something in the middle or like a fountain, but I feel like on its own it's kind of a tripping hazard or something. We're horribly ineffective at you know, preventing scuffs on your hardwood. Because you remove this carpet and there's just going to be a hole of scuffs in dirt. <laughs> Nice little stencil for you. Here's a painting of my grandmother, Nana Triangle, on my mother's side. They say she kept an acute awareness into her golden years, but if you ask me, I always thought she was rather obtuse. Ha ha ha. He's wearing a lot of rings. And a lot of. Just, just a lot. Like, that's. that's one heck of a necklace and some earrings. Lovely cat though. Alright, 
pushing the button. Makes the thing go. Oh, it's, it's giving me three. Okay. Alright, what have we got? What have we got? Wait a minute. This one goes. I can see the seams of where it breaks. That yeah. It spawns as multiple pieces. The old age of physics. Yeah. This room often gets rather sweltering in the summertime. Air circulation is very important. Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to get glass in your eyes. Just in case. All right, this this is very insane asylum. Yeah. It's the fluffy dimension. It's cute and soft. Everything's made out of plush and, and quilt. And you can't injure yourself. And please put the knife down, sir. I have a family. <laughs> Strictly necessary to put bottomless pits in your manor. The physicality of that still completely baffles me. It just works. Courses at Team Fortress 2. Oh, it's thingy. Oh, yes. With these specifications, you should be able to recreate several objects in the research and development lab adjacent to my office. Oh, but collectibles. Alright, so take us through here. Bye bye. So do you think Dolly made the wallpaper? Or did the house just come like that? I surely he's had to patch up a few holes, so. Right. Uh, it's dog bite. This is one of the animals that Dolly cloned to rather, well, intriguing results. It actually- Thus was pieces. produced the world's first and only fully elastic dog. I named her Elastic. Angstrom. Fully You know, elastic. come to think of it, it reminds me of this toy from the 80s. Stretch, stretch something. Stretch Damn it, John. Angstrom. Oh dear. 
So, if the dog is fully elastic, does that include the teeth? Like, that sounds awful. Like, okay, haha, funny dog bones stretchy. Wow, cool. All right. Can, Willy, yeah. Can it, only, can it only eat soft food because it can't crunch bones and kibble? No need for chew toys. The dog is the chew toy. You go to squish his little face and it actually just, like... Morphs like those uh, those rubber toys you see at like the dollar store or Walmart or something. It's like really cheap, stretchy, bean-filled lizards and stuff. From dinosaurs. Yeah, that's uh, that's it's normal for the electricity to do that. It's very safe and good for it to be that close to the wood. Ah, you've moved on to Yard. a part of the manor where another type of dimensional rift is accessible. This is the gravid wolfram dimension, or heavy for short. This dimension is in direct opposition to the fluffy dimension and will make things ten times heavier. But not me, though. Whoa. Yeah, those... Mm. Comfy. Or chairs. Also, the, the design of these chairs looks like it should have, like, speakers here. On the sides. Yeah. That or they're like dragon nostrils or something. Listen to this right now? Oh, what time is it? What time is it? Well, hello, baller. Alright, so we got a button here. Alright, so now we have cardboard boxes. Thanks, soldier! Five months! Thank you, Phoenix Arcanus! That's crazy! Who's that guy? I don't know who you are, but thank you. Loyal fan! You're a real one. But that's, um... Oh. Now just imagine how long it took me to lay all that out. Be careful. You didn't have... You, uh, th the seems... It seems worse than if you had just... Uh, hi. Uh, just done this for normal? Oh. Bit on the shy side. Give him some time to get used to you. Okay, bye. All right, which ones need to be turned on? Yep. Through each other. Okay. How was Hades, by the way? It's good. I just I'd help up. you, but I because if you give up a run, up to which right, you just quit to the main menu. You lose all of your progress. And in Risk Brain, you keep all of your progress. Smile. Smile. So 
So I'm farming this one particular resource, just doing something that's low brain power, so I can still kind of focus on you. Mm -hmm. um, Gotcha. And I just wasted my time! <laughs> oh no! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! So. Once this one, I think, which goes here, and up and over, down underneath and over this way. Where is going? This way. Rude, I was about to pick that up. I have to wait a cycle. Yeah. Just put these on here just cause. See what this does for me. Ah, come on. <coughs> All these are taunting me. dimension you kind of slide off them. Alright, so we launch all along here, and there's lasers. So I go to this one, so I should be able to jump. No, I can't. arms or something. Specification of the order. Yes. These sheets of steel are then brought over to a pneumatic press where they are bent by sangling. A welder closes the seams and creates individual assemblies. The assemblies are put on a truck bed and transported to a satellite facility for a mass assembly. We ever make a How It's Made spoof video, we're using the music from this game. <laughs> it's just too perfect. It's so good.
Maybe that's where I want. Some dimensions are tightly bound together, like the one we're in right now, and also the fluffy and heavy dimensions. This increases the odds that a dimensional rift between the two will exist in the same location. A weighted decision? That red battery will provide enough energy to enable the IDS device to widen the heavy dimension rifts in this area. Whatever you say, boss. Yeah, I made it. Ooh. So we have carefully stitched and then Shoddily die cast, expertly crafted. And those are those are some those welts. are some rivets. Yeah, those. good job. You, <laughs> it's not going anywhere, man. Dude, they're barely paying the riveter. Why is this the icon that's on the front? Why why is this box loading? It's loading content. They installed IE. Oh no, it's 2012, that joke is still relevant. Yeah. It appears this dolly got stuck on an infinite loop. How unfortunate. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! Watch where you're shooting that thing. Look at it go! It's got those flick shots. Get this man an Australian sniper rifle. Dude, it's fine. Stop. Stop looking at me. I know how Did strong that cool. laser is. But. Hey, 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 Seems to be a hands. large expanse of piles and like that. pits filled with various random objects. Yeah, is that not something you did, sir? Dear uncle? Can you, can you hold this? Thanks. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Can you... 
Yeah. Verse, <laughs> ver, pardon me. Thank you. And you can. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And then, which one do you want? You want this one? Okay. All right, now be very careful with this, all right? Thank you. No, not where you are. Here, in this confounded place. No, they're definitely still here, too. Are those hard I saw that candy? Bombs, but... They're a little... fussy. Ugh. Pleasant. Fuzzy hard candies. All right. Imagine eating a hard candy, like a like a caramel or a fruit sucker or whatever, but it's yeah. like flocked. What does that mean? You know that uh, like velvety stuff on the inside of like ring cases and whatnot, or like those little hard plastic figurines that have like this sort of fuzzy texture on them. That's called flocking. I don't know what you're talking about, and it's unpleasant okay. all the same. <laughs> All right, so uh, you take an object that's hard and um, impermeable to liquids, you dunk it in glue, and then you have this powder of really, really small fibers that are like little hairs that are really, really short. Never uh, heard of this before. And you, you just get that on there. Uh, now you know. Flocking. Yeah. Look, look it up. I saw someone do that with nail polish before. It seemed really weird. Just imagine having like furry fingernails, you know. Nice job. No, not really. I don't think you just might be missing something here. With the increased density and higher melting points of items in heavy dimension, quadrangle laser beams are rendered rather ineffectual. That's good. <laughs> Madre. Most things in life, timing is key. I came across Ike some time ago, and he decided to follow me back to the manor. Yeah, you, that seems like the sort of way that you'd meet this creature. <laughs> hey, buddy. You don't, you, it's not something you adopt, it's something that comes home with you whether you like it or not. Amen, brother. What did, what did they, 
if they take a picture of a plush to get this fur texture, look at this. That is nice. That's... That is just... Very clever, that... given when this game came out. Yeah. That looks very good. That looks really good, even just for... Yeah, that's like one... That's like one um, extra texture overlaid to add a little bit of depth. Like the... uh -oh. I love it. A nice guy. Collectible. <gasps> I believe Ike stole these and hid them at one point. He's rather fond of shiny objects. They always are. either, huh? the book sucking gay baby jail. No can do, boss. That's okay, I'll just get another. Right, so I'm glad some, like... you're keeping yourself amused. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Always. So someone definitely took a just a tin can and filled it with like some paper clips and screws. That's these sounds. Nice. Anyways. Oh. Almost got it out. That's a good flip. Alright. Grab the big guns. Come on, I wanna see this thing fly. That was good. I did like that. Okay, I should actually like play the game or something. <laughs> You're just testing the physics. Oh, you can't take the game dev away. This was once the family cat, Lord Widget Pompadour Fluffington the Fourth, or Widget the First. He progressively. Inbred he somehow thing. wound up in one of the Dolly cloning control units. Yep, and became woefully brachycephalic. So sad. Note that if you disrupt the blue beam, it should deactivate something. So it does. Let's 
So you know how I have access to that um, open AI script generator thing? Yeah. I, I kind of really want to make it do a how it's made script and just start reading it to this music. Oh goodness. All right, hang on. Um, I I gotta. I can make this happen. Right. Write a script for a how it's made video. Submit. All right, I'm sending you a screenshot to read. Okay. <laughs> this is all AI generated. In this episode of How It's Made, we'll be learning how toothpaste is made. Toothpaste is a gel or paste used to clean and protect teeth. It's usually made from a combination of ingredients like fluoride, abrasives, and detergents. Fluoride helps to prevent cavities while the abrasives help to remove plaque and stains. Detergents give the toothpaste a foamy texture and help to keep it from drying out. To make toothpaste, the ingredients are first mixed together in large vats. <laughs> then they're pumped into tubes, where they're extruded into familiar toothpaste tubes. <laughs> After the toothpaste is spilled <laughs> into the tubes, Sealed in gold. <laughs> then they're ready to be shipped off to stores, where they'll be used to help keep our teeth clean and healthy. Alright, so I make sure everything is raised up off the floor. dimension. Nice. I'm not entirely sure how many BEDs of radiation that emits. Hope you're not looking to have children later. Did you just see the recent video of my cousin works on the Death Star laser? Do I get financial compensation for radiation poisoning? I have not seen this. Oh my goodness. So it's like a TikTok kind of video. It is the lady in a thick New Yorker or Long Island accent. And it's just like, all right, we got a claim check from here, uh, you know, so, soldier number X2665 over here. My cousin works on the Death Star laser. Am I entitled to financial compensation for radiation poisoning? Absolutely not, sir. Unfortunately, the Empire does not provide financial compensation for radiation damage as the Death Star laser has not been measured to cause radiation sickness. Next ticket. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the people in Alderaan might beg to differ. Painting really unnerves me. 
He looks like he has the head of a bat on a teddy bear with eyes that sear my soul. I keep wanting to take it down, but he won't let me. Yeah. He sure is a creature. place is truly fascinating. That, combined with the fact that I have no clue how I was transported here, is certainly puzzling. It's mostly dark. Well, maybe not dark. Sort of twilight. Right, so here is a thought. Go to options, controls, jump, mouse scroll down. Now, unlock the scroll wheel. That's better. I'm sure that I can use this for something funny. You have the speedrun times for Quantum Conundrum. All right. Quantum Conundra. I'm fairly certain Desmond there will come in rather so handy. Any percent as of seven months ago is 31 minutes 59 seconds. Okay, not too bad. All collectibles, one runner in category. World record three years ago, 47 minutes, 42 seconds. 100%. One runner in category, two hours, 12 seconds. Seven years ago, undisputed. Let's go. No runs submitted for the DLCs. You have the potential to make speed running history. Hmm. I just wanna peel up the rug and use it like a cake. <laughs> Look at that liquid slosh around. It sure is a half circle. That's liquid. That's a That's half liquid, sphere. Yeah. That's a half sphere with some weight to it. There it goes. The base can rotate around, but it looks like the one in the head is locked to the one axis. It's not a perfect sphere. Anyways, I actually did a puzzle. Day 
stairs. I love making stairs. That is furniture. Oops. Is that me? Yeah, picture of me? Aw, you do care. <laughs> I also look just miserable. That's a fursuit. Now I'm That is Is that a my is that mime paint? Am I a metal mime? That's a metal I apple don't... right there. That is an aesthetic oh, no, choice I'm... that I'm going for. Not sure that it works. Those are moving lasers. over there. Oh, that was uh, not the heavy dimension. Thing number 56 you will never experience. Learning to whistle. Dang, that's so sad. This kid's 10, can't whistle. I could whistle at a very young age, much to the dismay of my parents. <laughs> that tracks, considering how well you whistle. Yeah, I like how well I can whistle. Yeah, I'm not very good at it. I can do it, but it's not it's not great. I'm working. I'm <laughs> at the stage of my whistle meta game, man. Um, where it's like about the vibratos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't do that. And then high notes. I can do high notes, but it takes me like, my lips gotta be that right kind of wetness, you know? Yeah, you gotta get it just right. If you're they're too moist, it's not gonna work. If it's not moist enough, it's not gonna work. Nope, not doing it right now. My lips are not cooperating with the surrounding air. All the lasers. That's blowing the sparks. I find the number three to be a very satisfying number. It's a Heatner number, and the proper amount of scoops on an ice cream cone. Heatner? Number one, Google Heatner number. Could have done it better myself. Not bad, though. Thank you, sir. I 
mean, all right, which would you, which snarky floating disembodied voice would you rather have when solving puzzles, Q or GLaDOS? Q, yeah. You may remember some of my past inventions from previous trips. Yeah, for sure, for sure. This is my ice gun, Freezy Ray Vaughn. I hate you so much. <laughs> Who can we get to deliver these puns? Ah, uh, yes, John Delancey. <laughs> oh, I really wish I wouldn't do that. Ah, oh, that looks like a lot of fun. I think he's onto something. Look at him go. I agree. He's got yeah. the right idea. So true. <laughs> In my lane. Flourishing. Thoughtful. <laughs> Unbothered. <laughs> Unbothered. <laughs> this is a compression Moisturize. which uses photoelectric energy to function. Oh like a spring, the energy it's pulses one, below the platform one. excite the molecules in the air, stimulating an elastic structural rigidity. Yeah, that's crazy. Is this what the dog's made out of? Okay. <laughs> Crunch. They really don't let you stand on these cardboard boxes. You just slide right off. It's coated with Teflon, even in heavy. Clearly, your parents have been raising you splendidly. Yeah, you can fix it. It's fine. You probably were waiting for an opportunity to replace this with the super glass with like super duper glass or something. Honestly. I'm gonna just go get the shiny thing. I was wondering where I could put that. Yeah, I, I do it. Careful. You're right. Bro. You're complaining about me breaking glass and you have this going on? <laughs> Sir? I want I want to play meat though. We a 
effects of radiation on things. Yeah, I think on radiation things. might have had an effect. Like, I can't, I don't have a great view from here, but I'm pretty sure the radiation did have an effect. Good read, good read. A bit dry. That is that is a three-eyed pug that is vomiting um, something very corrosive. As a puff ball, it's three eyes doing the same thing. That's hell spawn with metal teeth. Now I see a giant pit filled with keys. Oh, this one has sunglasses. Oh, I like these. Mine now, I suppose. All right, thanks, buddy. I guess he's just finding people's lost keys and sunglasses. Great. You're doing a mega tension check if you're busting out the chocolate. <laughs> you know it, buddy. <laughs> I mean, it's either this or a like, milk tea mochi. Mmm. And I feel like this is going to be easier to eat on stream. Between the Lions on PBS? No. Look at you, Cable having the sound of a gun. I know. I watch stupid shit like Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. I had PBS kids. We liked it. Um... That's supposed to be a uh, missing texture. I don't think so. We're just completely unshaded. The That's on the bingo is. card. <laughs> Do we have missing texture on the bingo card? We should. Mm. Yeah, definitely add that. Just remember, you need enough change in the mass to build up enough mechanical energy. Think of this highly complex piece of technology as a trampoline. A double bounce could help. Oh. Come on here. 
Who's whistling? Crazy. Yes. Oh, it's my game. Okay. <laughs> like there's like a higher pitched little jingle in this song, but it doesn't really sound like a whistle. It's time to spring into action. <laughs> I crack myself up. Yeah? Yeah, you do, John. Yeah, you do. Thank Aren't you. you supposed to whistle while you work and grin and whatnot? Uh, Alex, whistle. Yay! I give you a cookie, but um, I eat it. Oh no. Need more of these things. Never enough safes. I don't feel safe enough yet. Just build myself a little. Pillow fort here. Put these here. That. Scoot. Nope. Scoot that there. Like this up. in this game have been pretty good so far, but also, um, they're spawning continuous physics objects. Oh. So, um, yeah. High I'm performance. Just, this is what I'm doing now. <laughs> Why do people watch me? <laughs> you are just, you're just sitting here. You're just. <laughs> look at me, look at me, look at me, go. me go. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me, John? Are you proud of what I've created? <laughs> I, I can't even fit in here. I can't crouch. <laughs> 
myself in. I can't move. And now everything's shaking. Ominously. Oh, oh, is it gonna fall? Is it gonna fall? Come on, come on. You do it. Oh, it's close. Yeah! Ah! My head. Well, I can't jump. I can't pick up that object. I need to dig myself out of here somehow. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Still can't move. Right, there's like a there's like a puzzle here or something. What's up with that? What is the deal with puzzles? I can't. I'm not even gonna try to, to do a Jerry impersonation. I mean, I was doing the like data telling stand up hand gestures. Oh goodness gracious. Stopped giving me safes. Huey's. Alas. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I don't like progress, I guess. Gross. Weird, but I, I, you know, gotta do what you I gotta know. do, man. Cringe, but go off, I guess. <laughs> Satisfying, isn't it? Well, that 
That's weird. Huh. It must have been a fluke with that one table. This, uh... Maybe at least this book isn't actually putting into this one like the other one was. Oh, It's functioning normally? Yeah. The other one was just... broke it. The shame. Lightly floating, or is this just a very lush wood table? I'm hearing a lot of glass breaking noises. This is one of my past inventions, Joan the Jetpack. Worked just fine, except I had some serious trouble with the hover up feature. Somewhat flammable, some might say incendiary. Huh. Noted. Thank you. You're welcome. You probably never saw this invention. It was my hole digger. We called it Every Day I'm Shoveling. And by we, I mean Ike. It was a little too efficient. This was the first and last time I saw it. Every day. I'm shoveling. 2012, everybody. In case you forgot. Around the world. Laser Wars. One can never be too safe. Pun, pun, pun. Thank yeah. you, John. Yeah, Drax. One can never be too safe. I was quite the champion at shot put during my years in college on the track and field team. The electromagnetic microreactors, or electrobats if you're so inclined, will all require a conductive polycell. I also stinky, happen stinky. to be on the basketball team as well. You may want to try the lid as a backboard. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> We just watched My, what a fucking handsome show. fellow like we just kept dashing doing it. intellectual like it took us until mustachioed. our adulthood that we're like, you One know might what? Even say this is bullshit. Looks like the kind of man who could split the atom twice before breakfast. Twice. I mean, there was a certain flavor to advertisements during that time period. Oh, for sure. Cause like there were a handful where they they got the 
the absurdity level just right, even if it was unintentional. See, diabetes. Yeah. Oh, come on! I'm going to continue to do it, sir. A worm? Alright, so it's just- it's just metal. It's filled with, um, honey? And now it's just slime. Thrilling. Yes, very. What are you doing? Confirmed cannot throw that in. Uh, give, give me an item or like an object or something. Just a name. Um. Shelf. And nightstand. I'll make it more specific. Nightstand. How it's made. Nightstands. <laughs> right. A script for a how it's made episode on nightstands. Submit. Oh, this is so good. I love that I could do this now. <laughs> Technology is amazing. <laughs> the shit posting capacity is reaching new heights. Oh, uh, how many how many kids are out there trying to use open AI to write their research papers? Oh. All right, here you go. Non zero. That's what sucked. Yep. In this episode of How It's Made, we'll be exploring how nightstands are made. Nightstands are pieces of furniture that are placed next to bed, and they usually have a drawer or two for storing. We'll learn about the different materials that are used to make nightstands, as well as the construction process. Finally, we'll see how these pieces of furniture are finished and how they're made ready for use in the home. Nightstands are typically made from wood, but they can also be made from metal or plastic. The most common type of wood used for nightstands is oak, but other woods like maple or cherry are also used. The type of wood will affect the price of the nice shot, as well as the appearance. The construction of a nightstand is fairly simple. The first step is to cut the pieces of wood to the correct size. Then, the pieces are glued or screwed together. This cameraman could not get a clear angle. The drawers is flash R then added, and the nightstand is ready for finishing. So I see you found another blueprint set. Well, check back in the research and development lab when you have a spare moment. When it comes to finishing, 
There are many options. The most common type of finish is a stain, which can give the nightstand a natural look. Paint is also an option, and this can help to protect the wood from scratches or other damage. Nightstands can also be left unfinished, which is a popular choice for those who want a more rustic look. Well oh, yeah. the stand is finished. It's time to add the hardware. This includes the knobs or handles for the drawers, as well as any other embellishments. After the hardware is in place, the nightstand is ready to be used in the home. These are fantastic. <laughs> it's so spot and on. Terrible at the same time. It's like WikiHow constructs a fucking bureau. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, missed. Again. I believe you're close to the generator in that sector. A little further. Glass just broke somewhere. My head feels like I've been hit squarely by a 2 by 4 and I still haven't regained my memory. <laughs> That's splendid. I did do it. So, you need to be over by that blast door, but it looks like you're gonna have to go through the object distribution system to get there. I get to go through the pipes and tubes. Oh, pipes glorious. and or tubes. Day. Marvelous. All right, if you if you want me to to spit out another how it's made episode, you just let me know. I'll think on it. I have to come up with something good. Oh yeah. Cuz these are like really basic and surface level, so I, it needs to be Watch it now. Of something on a surface level that's very hilarious. Jump! This is definitely not the right place for you to be. Oh, I can debut a new voice on this one too. You? New voice debut? I. It's not necessarily a new voice. It's one I've been practicing for many years, but it's one that I don't use around you guys much. Hmm. Easy now. Okay, bye chairs. Are you sure? 
No, I just saw a lover and I wanted a bullet. So there's lasers up there. And I use my bad pops. Jump back down. And there's more lasers down there. Oh, that looks like just one laser. I think there's two lasers up here. So since this place is harder, that means there must be goodies for me. This one is less than two. Mashy spike plate! Mashy spike plate! <laughs> not a spike plate. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Ah. Very flimsy. Not tested for a lot of weight. Like, what was on the bottom there? Just a, no, it's just a bunch of sideways. Oh, rotating. Ooh, that's fun. I, I gotta ask about my game just because it's a cool. It's a Almost tough there, I think. Do I want uh, AoE, like explosive rounds that's slow, uh -huh. or seeking rounds with more damage? Well, you said more damage for one of them. Yes. And what is seeking but an explosion that happens everywhere on the screen? <laughs> Very slowly, one at a time. <laughs> Yays. in this game, so we had to add a platform segment. Give me the puppy. Here it goes. Nicely done. Got an achievement for that. Did I just, I've broken enough glass. Presumably so. Presumably so. All right. Are these tables going to be glitched? The generator room for this sector is ahead. It is rude of you to not accept this hat, sir. Please, please. I work so hard on it. It looks so good. You'll be so fashionable. You'll be the talk of the town. You just wear this hat. Don't think the shape of this can be good to hat wearing. Oh, perhaps. If I can put it on the spear either. Unfortunate. Hey, look at it this way. The worst that can happen is that you fail miserably. Dude, that's such that's a cute so, line. I was about to say the same oh thing. That's such a cute line. Oh my gosh.
The card just gives him the glare. That's so funny. Uh, man, Kirk should have interacted with Q. Yeah. Can you imagine? Because, like, then, like, he'd be, like, trying to figure out what the stuff's going on. But Picard Fantastic. would be replaced you made by it. Bones. If you can get to the generator, I'll tell you what to do. Alright, I'm going to assume that I break all the glass. So I'm going to do that first. Double whammy. Alright, alright. We're doing good, we're doing good. And... Look at that spin. Oh, those are lasers. Oh, those are... Those are... Uh, lasers. For your general health and safety, I would recommend disabling those. The switches for the laser beams should be up there. Somewhere. Gotcha point. All right, all right, all right. That is a fan. It's much quieter. Getting. All right, Dolly, what you got for me? You'll have to bridge the gap somehow since the scaffolding collapsed. It looks as if the motor has stopped. You'll need to get that arm rotating fast enough to reactivate the generator. Got it. I will use my incredible muscles. <laughs> or maybe I will use the safe that I found. So, assumably... That reminds me of the time when the de great one down, two to go. Easy peasy. Oh, we got blueprints. It's story time. Oh, that's one. Oh, that's bad. 
There doesn't seem to be any people in alternate dimensions, which is good because if they were, it'd be evil. That's crazy. Of mice and Mandelbrot. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh. Yes! Yes! Oh my that god. That wasn't so bad, was it? Doggy! Doggy. <laughs> See, that's uh. D O O O O O O O O O O O O O O G. Or do, as Oops. it may colloquially, colloquially be called. Colloquially. It's such a good word, but it's so annoying to say. Colloquially. Approximately. See, why can't you oh, make man. these lamps out of this? Because then I wouldn't break them. Like, I'm definitely trying to break this one now. So many dogs. Why don't you take a look at those blueprints? Alright, apparently I'm looking at these blueprints. I don't have a choice. Completion. 23%. Overall time, 99.81 minutes. I have met one shift goal and obtained seven collectibles. I have not made any goal times because, well, you know. 13 levels without death. Best time, <laughs> 440 seconds. Goal time, 80. 80. <laughs> Best time, 492 seconds. Goal time, 77 and a half. Hi, yi, yi. We do a little goofing. We do a little goofing. Ah, oh, all right. Here. So, so <laughs> the one where I made a fort is 800 seconds. Oh my gosh! I was wondering which one it was. I. It's not hard to tell. What the heck is that, a taco? Interdimensional shift taco. So you have dimension guacamole, stray dimension cheese, and 100% taco shell from freshly milked tacos. <laughs> You're not close enough. Singularity Toothpaste Reed Tubiner. Alright, so you use a domesticated black hole to get the toothpaste back in the tube. So true. Cat always land on their feetner. Robot footsies. Uh, I think we might have found some things to stick into the how it's made generator. Just maybe that's a T-Rex. With some stuff hooked up. Be sure to turn the handle in the correct direction. Mm. Stop yawning. Despicable. How dare you? Plutonium On this show. Powered mustache machine. 
I mean, I, I ever tell sense. you about the Probably the most so. ridiculous thing that I ever got called out for in my last job? What would that be? Wearing white shoes with my hands in my pockets. Specifically that combination of factors? I think Like if, if you're wearing white, white shoes, shoes, it's fine. If you put your hands in your pockets, that's fine. But if you wear white shoes and put your hands in your pockets, that's a no-go. That's too much. It's too it's noticeable, too right? Like, Like the hands in the pockets draws way too much attention to the shoes. Or I was repeatedly nice. told to take my hands out of my pockets. And frankly, there's a decent enough reason. There could be a fucking eye bar that sails towards your head. And, uh, you know, you Either need your you hands have... available. Yeah. But I nice. was called out because I had white shoes. And that's disrespectful to the guys on the shop floor that are getting all dirty. And here I am my white shoes. You work an office job. You're not out on the this shop. This is my floor. previous job where I was expected to kind of be on the shop floor a bit. But okay, I mean, but like, not out of any concern for ridiculous. you getting your shoes dirty. Just, uh... Thank heavens you made a a blueprint for the blueprint tube, by the way. Really, really glad of that. Hey, Kevin. Uh, yes, I've I've been having a good time with this game. Um, Kevin, what's an object that you're con curious about the construction of? Yes. <laughs> out of out of curiosity, like what what's what what's been itching at you? What do you want to know more about? your clothes dryer. Hot air or bacon. Interchangeable. Shirts. Wet. <laughs> drinky bird, drinky bird. Hey, you found something. Try not to break too much. No can do, Chief. I'm going to break it lots. There is something else in here I need to poke at. Whoa. Loading. Ah, splendid. It seems as if the power is starting to come back online. As I still haven't been able to figure out how to get out of here, you'll have to make it to the next generator. You can access the next wing of the manor and the power grid sector by heading up the stairs there. Look the yellow. Precarious. Hold, hold on, hang, hang, what, do you, uh, but, uh, hi. Fish. USS Gorilla. That is my second cousin, Billy. I presume. Fisher Michelson, one of the initial major investors in Quadrangle Industries. I'm hesitant to admit it, but many of my grander inventions would not have been possible without his support. Oh, put mine back up on the wall, jeez. Is this the second floor? Has education these days deteriorated that badly? Yes. What's through here? 
Here's bonus puzzles. Flake. What a shame. Oh, okay. So if I just load this bad boy up with boxes. Too long ago. Yeah. So they just give you a room to mess around in. Okay. Laser. Here. Here's back to puzzles. Let me out. Let me out. Ah, splendid. It seems as if the power is starting to come back online. As I still yeah, haven't been able to figure out how to get out of here, you'll have to make it to the next generator. And hopefully it won't be too much trouble to access the next generator. Then perhaps I can find a way no, out of here. This is getting no, no, rather no, no, ridiculous. No, 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 well, I guess uh, in lieu of heaven, our safes will blot out the sun. Oh no. In case you are we wondering oh, about yes. the pneumatic transportation tubes around the manor, they are filled with the same science juice that is in all the IDS batteries. I was able to extract the base material for the science juice from a um, undisclosed biological source. This man's out here juicing babies to make science juice. Oh, John, you silly war criminal, you. Oh! Oh, that's a lot Furniture. of them. <clears throat> ah, if only you could see the look on your face right now. Look at him go. I Crash hope that you've been Crash able to glean that the time in this next dimension is protracted, causing everything to move in slow motion. Okay, the laser saved them from having to make the wood actually break. <laughs> like a pan-dimensional bunny rabbit, hopping across a landscape of quantum fields. Can I, can I make it back? Can I make it back? I can jump on that. Jumping here is gonna save me, but... No, no, 
not quite. You have died. Thing number 875 you will never experience. Feeling the sting of going dateless to the prom. Joke's on you, I've already felt that. Like oh. a pan-dimensional bunny rabbit, hopping across a landscape of quantum fields. Poetry. Not entirely sure where Desmond is in this area. Ah, uh, one of my first victories. Good old things. My pet pug. Ah. Uh. He was either That's extremely brilliant or possessed with the intelligence of a brick. He would also eat pretty much anything shiny. Consequently, I discovered dogs metabolize plutonium fairly quickly. Fun fact if it ever comes up on the crossword. Duly noted. Sometimes the act of slowing things down can reveal the correct path. Hold up. <clears throat> you can see the laser travel. How fast is... Bruh. Don't question it too much. Don't do it. He sacrificed speed for power in making these lasers. Yeah, these are sonic lasers. <laughs> Ugh, this door. Drinky bird. Drinky bird. Done it. The first building raised on quadrangle land wasn't much to look at. But right. I can assure you, the pipework was something impressive. Far ahead of its time. Alex, are you looking at this? Yeah. What what am I looking at? It's an outhouse. Oh. Hence the pipework. All right. Splendid. Also, dude, put in some railings. Jeez. I'm liable to break something. Trip and fall to my death. Look at this. Oof. Ow. Uh, Over the years, the quadrangles expanded noise. their living quarters. Though I should add that at this point, no one in the family had been exposed to any significant quantities of radiation. Okay, rather minuscule quantities, got it. I do have some radium glass, you know. It's okay, that's fine. Your radium glass is, is, is good. It's good, it's green. It's pretty, we like it. 
Have I mentioned that the manor requires a lot of ventilation? I, I mean, you do have some very large fans. Careful, the blades are rather sharp. Aw, they do kill me. Well, it's probably not the best location for you, but sadly it's rather unavoidable. This is the basement. Why is nothing in here finished? Good. Surfing on the table. I would move if I were you. What a disappointing hiding spot. I'm not sure you can say it's a hiding spot at all. It was just there, man. Step off now! Okay, I did it. Hello. Where, where, where am I going? Over oh, here? Okay. Um. This is fun. <laughs> How uh, how it's made for okay, how a YouTube next. video is made. How a YouTube video is made? Alright. Let's see here. Too bad. There you go. Try that new voice, if you please. Oh man, I forgot about the voice and this makes it better. Oh man. Let's see how it reads. Die. I mean, the difference between Paul Venti and Grande. <laughs> All right, this is oh. decidedly bland. But we're gonna do it. Yeah, I think I might actually read the prompt just to make it a little more. Yeah. A little more exciting. See what you can do. Yeah. Let me increase the temperature to like a bajillion. All right, try this one. Okay. This has got a little bit more personality to it. I actually uses exclamation points. That's how you know they're excited about the topic matter. All right. I guess we're working with this. Is that all right? Yep. 
<laughs> and this episode of how it's made will take a look at the process of making YouTube videos. You may be surprised to learn just how much work goes into creating a single video. Schmeagel tries so hard to bring in viewers. First, the idea of the video must be conceived. Once the topic is decided, the script is written and the shots are planned. Next, the filming begins. This can be a process that takes days or even weeks, depending on the subject matter. After the footage is captured, it's time for post-production. This is where the video is edited by the Hobbitses. They really have very low rates. The music is added, and any final touches are made. Finally, the video is uploaded to Shire and made available. I'm not enough to see. That was just so good. <laughs> I worked on my Smeagol for a very long time, and I just don't bust it out much. Smeagol is good to the Hobbitses. It's so good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, my cheeks hurt. Oh, oh. This, one. this and more can be yours. On you demand. should be able to fit through with a popper's subscription. Don't forget to breathe. It's an important aspect of life. How much, how much effort does it take to do that voice? Um, you maintain the same dimensional stability. I have to close up the back of my throat a lot. Mm hmm But other than that, then it's just using the falsetto. Mm hmm Okay, yeah, close back of the throat. The throat is back of the throat. Here's a lot of your with the impersonation. Your properties do not change upon shift. Right, what horrible chemical spill resulted in the removal of these stairs? So just boarded up that door. It's like, okay, we took out the, the stairs you aren't working and we'll just close off that room. It's got bugs in it. Bugs in it. It's got bugs in it. Bugs in it. I've been able to ground several of my inventions bugs in our in normal it. baseline dimension as well. That's why quadrangle technology doesn't shift. Marvelous. Freezenator. I hold the genator. There's something that Hades does that I think is beautiful. Mm -hmm. In settings, there is a little toggle that says God Mode. One of my first experiments was attempting to... Mm -hmm. Instantly makes you tougher, more so whenever you die. Death is not so big a deal in the underworld. Try this if you find you're struggling, want to focus on the story, or any reason. 
I think it's so small. It's literally like yeah, just the just those last few words. Or any reason. Yeah. That's so good. That's mm, you don't why? need Italian a fingers. reason to put it on easy. You don't have to justify it. You don't have to just yourself to justify yourself to random people on the internet why you're not playing on super duper ultra hard. I just want resources, man. <laughs> the trees into happy little trees. Happy little trees, yay! Woo! It looks like you could use a little more time with that converter switch. Don't tell me what to do. That's a good suggestion. or basic orthogonal traversing bot. I invented them a long time ago to perform simple tasks. Their artificial intelligence is extremely simple, but it helps to keep the house in order. Such a fascinating trope of character design is the, the kooky professor inventor type, which has a really big house filled with inventions of varying levels of usefulness. Here's my invention that um, washes your shoes, but it can only use toothpaste. It's great. Have you seen, there's a dude out there. I think he's on Imager a lot, but. Um, mm -hmm. He's purposefully invents bad invention. Is he the guy who did the, the robot? Tentacle knife hand box. I believe so. That's, that's good stuff. I've seen a lady who does stuff like that on occasion. She made like she did, she was the one who did the um the robot that feeds you soup. It just kind of yeah slings it in your face. She did her own TED talk, didn't she? I think she did. Really, you shouldn't have. Okay, perhaps one more. What's up, William? 
my sweet child. Pretty sure I fed you dinner. If you're not absolutely positive, then you didn't. You should totally give me more, Father, please. I know, but... Look at this boy. sheet. So there are canisters that are only available in certain dimensions. No, or I can, I can are they just multicolored canisters? They're just multicolored canisters. This one's fluffy dimension, this one's heavy, and this one's time. And then these slots are locked, so I can't have all three abilities at the same time. Oh, and that allows you to switch between them in this area? Yeah, so I can right. switch between heavy and time and have these equipped. I messaged Vinny, like, literally a single sentence, like, what is X? What is this in Hades? Oh, no. And then I, like, oh, no. pay attention to the stream or whatever, and then I look down at Discord. The paragraph is, like, still typing. Nine plus down at the bottom. <laughs> I 
think he likes Hades. I feel like he might enjoy video games. Well, you did you that. I guess you could be proud if you wanted. I will be. That took me a while. <laughs> You know what I miss? Keytars. Yeah? They always make music so much better. Oh, but I digress. Digress from what? You brought them up. <laughs> when I was your age, I used to have to construct my own computers if I wanted them smaller than a refrigerator. You kids are entirely too spoiled. Big Mac 28 super outdated now because now there's three seasons. Hang time. Uh. Were all the lasers strictly necessary, sir? Seems very close to lighting something on fire. Ike's become a rather interesting lab assistant, though his indiscriminate appetite is a bit of a hindrance. Dude, same. Bye. <laughs> I feel I'm, I'm just so on the same level with him right now. I was bored all day and decided to play a game of catch with myself. 
utilizing the slow motion dimension. You should try it sometime. For some reason, this particular configuration of laser beams has been outlawed in several nations. Can't imagine why. It is a mystery. Wouldn't it be great if you could extend the air time of that? Oh, that's a lot of tubes. Hold up. That's a lot of science juice. Science, science juice? juice? Yes. Science juice. Okay. You love to see it, I think. This looks like honey. <clears throat> yeah, this dimension <clears throat> at least. It's just some flavor of Gatorade. Arctic dimension. chill. <laughs> Glacier freeze. Opposite of all these padded rooms I've been in, it's just the world's largest screws. They are so big. Ah, and here you see stately quadrangle manor as it stands now. As you can see, I've made some well, modifications over the years to accommodate my many experiments. You may have noticed a series of pipes keeping the radioactive fluids running through the manor from flooding the living quarters. Yeah, the, that pipes are good at keeping liquid contained, yes. That, uh, that's generally what they are used for. Glad to see that. Hey man, I believe that's safe number 21,157. So few? Or is that just the 2,157 one this one's made? 
68. Salt and pepper shakers? And an oven mitt. Huh. And that's cobwebs and watches. Kiwis. Kiwis! Dwange and perplexing. Perplexing! <laughs> <laughs> Also yawn whenever I do. Good portion. Evil. Teach you not to chew with your mouth open. I need to go find where I can use those things. Apparently, I just have a robot of mouth chewing noises. Is this early ASMR or something? We talk about this beat though. Game's got those beatsies. Literally any one of us was marginally good at doing that. I just need to take like a class or something. Head to the flow. Going with it. Or in a freestyle or something. I'm looking at a gigantic 
gigantic stack of cell phones. It is abhorrent what you young folks text to one another. Is English truly that difficult? 2012, by the way. 2012, by the way. <laughs> I mean, consider how many people at that period began texting on flip phones. You'd be using yeah. abbreviations too, my good sir. Were we still using flip phones in 2012? Jeez, Not so much. We were. But, but yeah, they're, they're definitely were. far more common than they are now. I like this, like the first generation starting to get smartphones. Yeah, smartphones from birth. Yeah. Cats in the cradle and the cinema spoon and the other rhymes. Man in the moon. Those bot bots are programmed not to let Wait, any non organic foreign objects pass. When, but we'll be together then. Literally how it's made, man. <laughs> okay. So is this what, like, treated? Or... <laughs> is that just not wood? <laughs> He keeps in all these safes. Like, what's in there? Foreign objects like that. Jeez. Okay. A little bot bot. Oh, we got. What is this? Like, am I about to fight the horseless, headless horseman in here? <laughs> Holy shit. Just looking like <laughs> CP Manor right now. <laughs> this is just CP Manor. Oh, I believe there's a heavy IDS battery across the scaffolding there. Glad you can see me, sir. There's a little fella. A little happy fella. Uh, trademarked. That jump? Jump? Hello? Jump? Thing number 188 you will never experience. Moving out. Because you died at this ripe young age of ten years old. You try to move out at ten, they just call that running away. Yup. Remember when I told you about playing catch with yourself? Yeah. Now might be the time to give it a shot. Yeah. I'm just more so marveling at the fact that the laser um, just tracks in slow motion. Anywho. Yeah. 
Those bot-bots are programmed not to let any non-organic foreign objects pass. You said that. Oh, I believe there's a heavy IDS battery across the scaffolding there. You also said that. Why, why are you repeating yourself so much? Uh, let's see. by the way. I'm just so paranoid I'm gonna click the wrong button. I can invent a glove that completely changes the laws of quantum mechanics, but apparently I cannot stream a movie to where I am right now in spite of the multitude of cell phones. That's so sad. Dude, relevant 10 years later. Relevant 10 years later. <laughs> that feel when no Netflix. That feel when no Netflix. This guy doesn't know about Paramount Plus and Disney Plus and Hulu and, well, I guess Hulu is around in 2012. And Tubi and everything else. CBS All Access or whatever the heck. YouTube shows. This guy's just now figuring out about Gangnam Style. That's what year this is. Apparently this unit also needs a bit of tweaking.
can get the stairs. Yes. Go through the door. Hello, Ike. Bye bye, Ike. I'm not entirely convinced of your aptitude to handle this situation. I don't know. I feel like I have a hundred percent success rate with all of these uh, curious little rooms that I've been put through. So, like, I, yeah, I think I'm a pretty decent progeny. Alright, ooh, silly straw uh, science sauce. Mm. Yo. Crazy. Science sauce. Do not stand. It just, it just trips right there. That, that shows what it does. Anyways. Pleasant surprise. I am full of those. Not all of my surprises are pleasant, but a good chunk of them. Some of them are just all together unsurprising, like me messing up on furniture all the time, always. Yup. if it stopped.
my collection. Ah, judging by the fascinating lands of missing items, I can hypothesize that I am officially lost. No Short-term kidding. memory gone, trapped in some sort of pocket dimension. Today is a good day. Yeah, you would all know all about pocket dimensions. This used to be one of the manor's libraries. I, uh, <clears throat> altered it. Time weighs heavy upon us all. safely What's that saying? It's like wrangling cats? Close enough. Like herding fish, you know? Hurting fish. Damn. Hurting fish is almost kind of worse because they can move in more freely in all axes. I had this portrait of myself and Ike commissioned before we began time travel in the mid 70s. Time traveling was certainly all the rage back then, at least among the more scientific circles. One of our colleagues used to throw the most amazing costume parties. And you know, you just can't beat the real thing. Right. Oops. Do you know that the only legal way to hunt tigers is to travel back in time to do it? Not that I would recommend doing as such. Interestingly enough, I have a hypothesis that the only reason tigers are about to go extinct is because people are going back in time and shooting them. Yeah? It's a good thing we just found out that there are more tigers than we thought there were. Yeah. Which means that the time travel police are doing their job. They must have caught a whole bunch of dudes recently. Let's watch the number spike. I made the first prototype when I was your age. I haven't had the heart to change the design. Oh. No need to change the design, it's already perfect. Laser. Oh man, I have to jump across all of that using slowdown. There should be an IDS battery on the other side of the fan. So there is.
179 you will never experience finding yourself I'm right here right here I found me should be an IDS battery on the other side of the fan. Now, 
I can totally do it. I'm not gonna. Unslow down so this is actually loads. <laughs> Our time travels took us to feudal Japan, where they took a rather strong liking to Ike. I hope introducing them to a small, cute, fluffy creature somehow didn't alter the present. Ah, oh, there's a ninja in this painting. You just can't see him. Jokes from 2012. Ninjas. Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> we talked a lot about ninjas, man. Ninjas and pirates. Mostly ninjas. Hey, what kind of sword is this? Tanto? Third. <laughs> uh. <laughs> wow. Baited. Holy shit. Baited. <laughs> Swish. Uh. I think this is that's gonna be the last puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really want to start another one right now. But this is this is a good game. You can definitely see the the portal influence, but you can also see how they've tried to distance themselves from portal. That's good. It's, it's not just portal minus portals. It has its own unique properties to mess with. The fact that they can lock out um, how many slots of dimensions you have, so you actually have to switch those out, I can see that making for some really frustrating puzzles later on. Mm. Trying to manage which ones you have access to at what time all those thermal discouragement beams. I think that's what they're called. Loading dimensions. Replaying individual levels isn't just for speed runs. They said the line. They said it. They did it. Back to main the main. Well. Oh. Do a thing, it says. That that is about the time period when that phrase originated. It's kinda of hard to see with the chat box in the way. There, it says do a thing. See? Oh, it just went away. Did, Did alt-tabbing break things? Alt-tabbing might have broken things. Looks like it for me. Oh yeah, that is like frozen. Well, that's all, folks. <laughs> Neat. You know, it's a good end to the stream when you have to pull out the task manager. Uh, somewhere. There it is. Yep, not responding. Ouch. Try game dash win32 dash shipping dot exe. Quantum conundrum. Computer and yep. program. Computer respond. Yes. Yes, my sweet boy. Sweet boy? Babe. Sweet child. Sweet baby. Hello, buddy. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys had a good time. I know I did. Remember to like, Wee comment, woo. and subscribe. Uh, tomorrow, I believe, is more Pokemon Coliseum.
Fridays for I Fridays. I'm not Fridays. streaming. I swear to God. Yeah. Ah. For realsies. Take that break. I know. All right. It's hard being Good the night, everybody. One. <laughs> Good night, Amen. everyone.